Hi, this is David with All One Vehicle Registration Service, also known as QuickCarTags.com, here in the city of Ukaipa. Today I want to cover a topic uh, known as vehicle registration suspensions. We're going to talk a little bit about what they are, how they impact you, and what you can do to resolve this problem for you in the quickest and easiest way possible. Okay, first off, let's talk about what is a vehicle registration suspension. I'll talk about what happens. The registered owner fails to provide evidence of insurance within 30 days after the insurance of a or issuance of a registration card upon initial registration or transfer of ownership. Okay, so like it says, uh, recapping on that, you're talking about uh, when you register your vehicle, you renew it or you transfer it over, and within 30 days, you don't provide proof of insurance, DMV will suspend the registration. Okay, and there's another time also when DMV is notified that a insurance policy has been canceled and a replacement policy has not been submitted within 45 days. Okay, and then also when the registration is obtained by providing false evidence of insurance. So pretty much it's all pretty basic. Uh, if you don't provide insurance within 30 days after renewing or transferring the vehicle, if a policy has been canceled um, or a replacement policy hasn't been received, then they'll cancel it, and that's within 45 days. Then they'll suspend your registration. Okay, so keep in mind too that oftentimes what happens is the insurance companies, there's a lack of communication perhaps between the time that you change insurance companies to another one, perhaps the information wasn't provided to the motor vehicles department, and during that time, um, information wasn't updated and the suspension was uh, put through through the program. So those things do happen sometimes, so and they could be a major inconvenience. So what happens when your vehicle registration is suspended and what does it mean? Well, what it means basically is it's the same as if your registration was not paid. Okay, um, the What happens is DMV suspends it and if you drive the vehicle on the public roadway or highway or even park it, then you can be subject to a citation for vehicle code section 4008, which means expired registration. Okay. Um, so you don't want to do that because it can be a hassle and it can impact you. You know, you're not going to be able to drive the vehicle to work or use it for personal reasons, uh, picking up the kids from school or whatever it may be. All right. So here's a question that you probably have in mind by now. Well, how do I resolve it? Well, there's a couple ways that people try to do it. One way is to go online. If you go online through the Motor Vehicles Department website, one of the things that they'll do is they'll have you pay a $14 reinstatement fee, which is, you know, part of the process. And then they'll also have you submit your insurance paperwork. Well, the problem with this is, again, remember, you're not able to drive this vehicle around for some time. It takes about one to two weeks for this information or for the suspension to be removed and for them to receive your information. Once you submit the insurance documents and pay the fee, you have to check back with the Motor Vehicles Department periodically to see if the suspension's even been removed. So there's, you can see already there's some hassles and inconveniences associated with it. So the thing is, too, is some people feel, well, I can go to a field office. Well, the field offices don't handle the transaction. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to send you right back online to take care of it. So here's another option you have to, available to you. We here at All One Vehicle Registration Service can remove the suspension the same day, pretty much immediate. As long as it's done between uh, Monday through Friday, uh, 9 through or 9 a.m. to about 4.30 p.m. And again, these are the hours that the Motor Vehicles Department uh, insurance unit is open, we're able to contact them and get this taken care of for you immediately. What we will need from you to take care of is the $14 reinstatement fee. Now, if you're unable to pay for that online because perhaps you don't have a credit card, come to our office. We'll take care of that for you. Of course, we'll, that fee will be included with your um, program or with the renewal and the suspension and everything that you need done that day. Okay, so once that suspension uh, removal is done, again, that takes about five minutes, and if even that, and we're done, and we got you re reinstated. The next step is depends on what you need. If you need to get your registration renewed, then once the suspension is removed, that can be done as well. So it's a real simple process. Um, it's, a, it's a valuable service for you to have um, immediate. Uh, we've helped people as far as San Francisco, New York, and different areas who were visiting and, and determined that, you know, sometime maybe they were stopped by law enforcement and we found out that their California registration was suspended. So excellent uh, source to have and um, hopefully uh, you can use that with us for a minimum fee. Go ahead and give us a call at area code 909-810-2005 or you can reach me at my email at david at quickcardtags.com. I hope this information has been helpful for you. Take care and have a good day and enjoy your holidays.